For almost two decades, Southridge production has entertained crowds in the border city with song and dance. But as Elise Cox explains, this is the final curtain call for the show, and a piece of holiday tradition will be missed. Southbridge Productions has presented Christmas musicals for over 34,000 people in the community for 15 years. Its annual performance has been a highlight of the holiday season. We've had many people tell us that this has kind of become a traditional part of their Christmas celebrations and that they come out every year to attend it. Festival of the King is a presentation the group performed a number of years ago. This African show is not your traditional take on the birth of Jesus, but Southbridge received many requests to bring it back and thought it was a perfect way to end their yearly tradition. <laughs> With the help of volunteers working on the performance, set design, costumes and all the important elements that help make this production so great, it has become a show that the community loves to get involved in. There's thousands of people that partake every year and it's truly phenomenal what they pull off for a small community like this. When we started doing uh, presentations like this at Southridge, uh, we didn't have the Vic Juba Community Theatre. There wasn't a lot of theatre in Lloydminster. Now there are a lot of groups doing some uh, uh, theatre and musical theatre. With such a successful impact on the community, Southridge is sad to announce they've reached their final curtain call, but are happy to be using their volunteer resources in other ways around the community. It's been really a great opportunity we have to be able to give back to our community in this way at Christmas. Elise Cox, Newcap News. The border city is all lit up with houses donning their holiday finest. We'll have a little tour now of the sights and sound that Lloydminster has to offer, courtesy of Lauren Pullen. Snowflakes line the streets and season's greetings fill the air. It seems Lloydminster has caught some Christmas cheer. One of the most festive places in the border city is right here in the downtown core. Uh, we get many, many, many favorable comments. This local business is laced with lights. And even adds some holiday sounds. It uh, kind of almost looks a little bit, little bit candy cane lane heading this direction. So that's just we're just trying to enhance the look and enhance the area. If you drive around, there's some amazingly decorated homes, businesses, and uh, we're starting to see the spirit of Christmas. Some local residents are also hopping on board, decking out their homes from top to bottom. Not only is this particular house decked out with almost every color light imaginable, there's even a special someone waiting right up here on the fence. But Santa and his reindeer are just the beginning. Some even took the time to deck out a 20-foot tree. As for the types of bulbs border city residents buy, local sellers say LEDs are the hot ticket item. LED bulbs consume 98% less electricity than your conventional bulbs. Uh, they're, they're safe and cool to the touch. They're weather resistant uh, and they just they last a long time. But no matter what people use to brighten up their homes, this store owner says he'll continue bringing Christmas cheer to the border city the best way he can. Lauren Pullen, Newcap News. Lloydminster well, Singing Waitress Cafe had a special musical guest on Saturday afternoon. The cafe featured a gospel group from Vermilion. On the first and third Saturdays of each month, the cafe holds a jamboree session showing off different bands. And this week, it was Christmas themed. I truly believe that we get so caught up in uh, all the the extras of, of Christmas with the Christmas shopping and and all the gift buying and that and to be honest that's not what Christmas is all about. And the guests were also treated to a nice home cooked meal. Well the house is full as you can see I just had some people walk out because they can't find a seat and they seem to be enjoying it very very much. And the cafe also held an open mic session later that night. The holiday the streets and shoppers rush to find the perfect presents. The Christmas spirit has hit the border city, but there's still one major thing missing, snow. Lauren Pullen found out if we'll have that winter wonderland in time for Christmas. On average, we see about 16 centimeters of snowfall for the month of December in Lloydminster. But this year, it's been a completely different story, with this one of the rare occasions where we've seen snow on the ground at all. The question on many minds is, 
Will we have a white Christmas? I'm in hockey. This isn't usually the street hockey season, but it's possible this year due to Lloydminster's lack of winter weather. But why haven't we seen any of the white stuff? We're right in between two paths that the storms normally take. There's one that's moving to the north of us and there's one to the south of us. And we're in the middle where we are actually in a clearing where the snowstorms will not hit. Snow. I want the snow. Many are hoping a winter wonderland makes it on time for Christmas. It would be nice to have a couple, you know, inches or something for Christmas Day. It's not Christmas without snow. It's just not the same. And for their first Christmas in the country, this family is wishing for something to write home about. Yes, yeah, so dreaming of white Christmas kiss. We want to have pictures in the snow <laughs> with our um, suits on. But with the winter weather blowing past our region, Peter Quinlan isn't confident the snow will make it on time. Yes, a lot can change in one week. We are still one week away, and I am making a bold prediction saying that there won't be any snow this Christmas. But chances are, right now with the current model outputs, it does look like we won't be seeing very much of that white stuff on the ground. So if you're dreaming of a white Christmas... You'll be dreaming for a while because the snow doesn't look like it's going to hit our area. So we take a look at our extended forecast. Which may be good news for these street hockey players but not for anyone wanting the holiday season to bring some snow. So for those still wishing and hoping snow will blanket the border city this Christmas, well, we'll just have to wait and see if the winter weather arrives on time. Lauren Pullen, New Cap News.